Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Aqua and Disrupt and today we'll take a look at Avalanche. Before we get this video started, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes. Now the Avalanche ecosystem is quickly growing. It is quickly expanding into a beautiful and massive ecosystem. Truly, truly massive. It's growing at a rapid pace. Not to mention the price of token right now is $88 per token. The price per token right now is $86.56. That is extraordinary. This is with a circulating supply of 220 million and a max supply of 720 million. But what's even more extraordinary about Avalanche is that less than a month ago, Avalanche was just around 51 US dollars. That's incredible. Three months ago, the price per Avalanche token was around $16.10. That's only three months ago. And around five months ago, back in July, the price per token was $9.65 per token. That was insane. So this brings us to where we are right now. Seven days ago, Avalanche was $63 per token. You're now looking at $86 per token. And before the end of the year, we're possibly looking at $100 per token. In fact, Avalanche could achieve $100 per token before the end of November, based on the rate of increases in the price that we're seeing right now. Not to mention, by market cap, it's just around $19 billion. That puts it at rank 13 in the world amongst all cryptocurrencies in the world right now. And if you don't believe me, see for yourself. This is the Avalanche ecosystem. These are DeFi products, digital security, ecosystem exchanges, explorers, infrastructures. These are NFTs, nodes, oracles, wallets, dApps and apps, trading bots, wallets. These are all part of the Avalanche ecosystem and it's rapidly growing. Starting with Avalanche, Avascan, AverExplore, Ava, Kaleo, Metamask, Lydia Finance, SushiSwap, Snowball. Penguin Finance, Verso, Verso Finance, Trader Joe, Zapper, Yield, Yield Yak, All Nodes, Alliance Block, AnySwap, Ape Board, Arrow DFMs, Barn Bridge, Bifrost, Avadu, the list continues, Binance, Bitmart, Bitfinex, lots of things that are occurring within the Avalanche ecosystem. Cardacy, I made a video on Cardacy, Serla Network. Coinbase, Coin One, Campus Network. These are all different interconnected ecosystem within the Cordano implemented into the Avalanche ecosystem. And it's brilliant to see. And it continues. The list continues. GameSwap, Kaiba, Magic, Ledger. The list continues. And it's nonstop. This is a clear sign that the ecosystem is expanding and growing at a rapid pace. And I love this about Avalanche. This is absolutely amazing. This is exactly what we need to see. This is exactly what we need to continue. Avalanche should be promoting a huge hackathon where people can build more projects for the, for the Avalanche ecosystem that will push it to new heights. Avalanche is going straight to the moon. I can guarantee you that for sure. Market cap of 19 billion, volume of 1.3 billion, and a stake percentage of 61% in all circulating supply of tokens and over 1 million wallets on their blockchain in their ecosystem that is huge. Not to mention there's been over 348,000 tokens that were burnt. This basically tells us that over time the tokens will become burnt. This simply tells us that the token price will always be increasing over time. These are some of the supported exchanges, Binance, FTX, OKCoin, okay, Crypto.com, Coin1, Coinbase. These are some of the wallets, Ledger, Avalanche, Wallet, Frontier. Now, in case you're wondering what is Avalanche, let me go into details for you. We will also do a price analysis and price prediction today. So get your popcorn because it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, Avalanche was launched in 2020, September by Ava Labs in the US. They raised six million at the time in their financing round, and they followed this with a private and public token sale totaling 48 million. Now the Avalanche network attempts to improve scalability without compromising decentralization or security. The Avalanche consensus protocol has all nodes work in parallel to check other validators transaction confirmation randomly. 
After enough repeat and random subsampling, a, a transaction is probabilistically determined to be true. This improves transaction throughput to 6,500 TPS. And it provides a sub one second finality time. Snowman is similar, but it works in a linear process with blocks. Avalanche also allows for the creation of customized interoperable blockchains. But you need to pay a subscription fee to operate in one of Avalanche's native token AVAX. Now the main problem that it's trying to solve is the blockchain trilemma. There are three main problems Avalanche attempts to solve. These are related to scalability, transaction fees, and interoperability. Now obviously I could get into more details, but I've made plenty of videos on Avalanche. And if you want to learn more about Avalanche, just check out the other videos on my channel. In some big news, Avalanche Foundation launched Blizzard, 200 million plus ecosystem fund for development. This is huge. This is huge and this will push the development of the ecosystem on Avalanche to greater heights. This could seriously compete with Solano and later in the years to come, Ethereum. With this much money in development, it will see great rewards because there's a lot more dApps and apps that are going to be developed for the Avalanche ecosystem specifically. That's over 200 million funds dedicated to accelerating development, growth, and innovation across the ecosystem of builders and users of the Avalanche public blockchain and beyond. Blizzard is comprised of contribution from Avalanche Foundation, Ava Labs, Polychain Capital, Three Hour Capital, and to be honest, it's a long list and it goes on for quite a while, but this is good to see. Now the fund is focused on four key areas that are growth across the Avalanche ecosystem, DeFi, enterprise application, NFTs especially, and culture. And with this, it will also look for opportunities to support other emerging use cases such as security token issuance, issuances, liquidity providers, and self-sovereign identity. Support for projects from Blizzard will include equity investments, token purchases, various forms of technology, business development and ecosystem integration support. Now, since launching in September 2020, Avalanche is one of the fastest organically grown ecosystem in the blockchain. And this was a really big surprise for me to find out, but it has, but it now has over 320 projects building on the platform, including top tier DeFi projects like Theta, SushiSwap, Chainlink, Circle, and The Graph, and over a thousand validators nodes that are currently staking tokens. Further, applications on Avalanche now accounts for over 8.2 billion in total value locked according to DeFi, a measure of total amount of assets locked in various DeFi application smart contracts. Now, Avalanche is the fastest smart contract platform in the blockchain industry, as measured, by time to finality. Avalanche is blazingly fast, low cost, and eco-friendly. Any smart contracts enable applications can outperform its competitors by deploying an Avalanche. Avalanche is also the premier platform for individuals, enterprises to easily create powerful, reliable, and secure private and public network with a complete control over the implications. These subnets can be the foundation of the creation of new ecosystems of values in assets, tokenizations, and regulated institution use cases. Ladies and gents, I don't have to tell you, you should know for yourself that this is absolutely incredible, especially for an ecosystem such as Avalanche. Krabada brings play to earn idle game to Avalanche. Once again, this is absolutely fantastic news because we do need more NFT games on the Avalanche ecosystem and this will be huge for Avalanche overall. Krabada, a play to earn NFT game is set to launch natively on Avalanche in November. This launch will allow anyone to play and earn crypto and bring a host of new gaming experiences to Avalanche. Absolutely incredible and I couldn't be more happy to hear this news about Avalanche. The Avalanche Foundation made a strategic investment in Krabada. As the project will bring a unique IDA game to Avalanche, Krabada's early focus will be on a bootstrapping the platform growth alongside its unique PvP, player versus player, infused idle gameplay. As part of the Avalanche ecosystem, the Krabada team is easily looking forward to rapid growth and development alongside Avalanche's thriving infrastructure and blooming community to reach its fullest potential. Now, Avalanche's gaming ecosystem will get an amazing boost of energy with Krabada's launch. The Krabada's team features a strong, diverse team with a clear vision in bringing a successful fun idol game to Web3.
First to start with is that Carbata is an exciting play to earn NFT game that is based in a world filled with fierce fighting hermit crabs called Krabatas, the NFTs. Players rediscover the prosperous ancient kingdom of Krabata while earning rewards through minting, looting, breeding, battling, exploring, grafting and more. Krabata being an idle game means that users will be able to play it anytime, anywhere with minimum disruption to their daily lives. Absolutely incredible and it's a great way to start things. Now I do look forward to seeing more about the Krabata's game on the Avalanche ecosystem. Now what we got here is a price prediction from me that AVAX will hit $100 before the end of this year. That means we're looking at around $90 or $95 getting super close. I believe it will be super close to $100 before the end of this month. That's how much confidence I have. That's how much confidence I have in the AVAX token. Seriously, I have a lot of confidence in this token. Take into account that since around the middle of August, around the 15th, 16th and 17th, AVAX has been on an upward trajectory and it hasn't slowed down, not one bit. It's been on a continuous growth, a continuous growth and that's really been profiting. Now, if you're wondering if I've noticed any patterns, yes, I definitely have. Perhaps around the end of August and around the start of September. This is what we might call a huge price rally. And this was even better than a huge price rally because the price went from around $18, $17 to an all-time high at the time. I speak in terms of in the last few months. I don't speak in its all I'm not talking about its history of being on the market. I'm talking about just in the last few months. Ultimately, the last few months are crucial because there was also a time when this token was just around $9.14 per coin. So you have to take that into consideration. So now we can actually go on to our second pattern. Once again, this occurred towards the end of the month. And at the start of the month, it started to go down in value. But even at that price, it was still above the previous all-time high. It was still above the previous all-time high. The previous all-time high is right there. It was still above that line. Even as it, even as a token went down in volume, even as a token went down in value as of the start of October. Naturally, what we have right now is an increased expectations. Our expectations for Avalanche right now is extremely high. But let's consider our second pattern. And this is on a monthly basis these patterns are occurring. The next pattern is occurring right now. And what we've seen each time when patterns starting to occur is that it's usually around the end of the month towards the start of the month. And what do you know? It's the beginning of November, November the 7th right now. And in around the, and in around the start of November, November the 1st, in less than a couple of days, it went up from a price of around $66 